text for our message is Luke chapter 23, verse 46. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. As Jesus speaks his very last word, it's a word not of sadness, but a word of hope. And it's so very much important that we see it that way. Because Jesus knows, knows where he's going next. With all confidence, with all comfort, he knows. While creation is coming undone all around him, we're reminded that darkness fell over the whole land from three in the afternoon until six in the afternoon. And so we have all of that darkness coming. And then upon Jesus' death, a massive reaction. In Matthew, we hear these words. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook, and the rocks split, and the tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Creation was turning upside down. in sadness, and yet with hope. Because while there was the earthquake and while there was the temple curtain, there was life. And while this doesn't make a great deal of sense at this point, we have to recognize the power of Jesus' death. What's even more interesting is with Jesus' very last breath, he's quoting scripture. He's quoting Psalm 31, verse 5. But in his quote, he doesn't finish the verse. He only uses the first half of it. And then completing the verse is you and me. To your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Who is redemption? His and ours at the same time. His and ours at the same time. Redeemed from death. He knew his spirit was going to the Father. He knew that there was hope there for him and the Father would redeem him. Redeem him from death. And so, in Jesus' words, we also are redeemed from death. Redeemed from sin, redeemed from death, and redeemed from the power of the devil, all by the action that Jesus just completed. And now, in the Father's hands is His Spirit. And that Spirit waiting for the third day to arrive, to burst forth in light. So there was hope. The certainty of hope. And so the certainty of hope is ours as well. Memorize those words, those last words of Jesus on the cross. May they be on your lips as your last moment draws near. Into your hand I commit my spirit. For these are words of hope, certain caring of a loving Father who destroyed sin and death and gave life in their place. Certain hope of a loving Father who redeemed us. Certain hope of a loving Father who will give us life. Certain hope of a loving Father who will restore us and give us the fulfillment of hope joy, and peace in His presence. The words of Jesus are words of hope. In the midst of sadness, there is still and always hope.
Let us pray. Merciful and everlasting God, You did not spare Your only Son, but delivered Him up for us all to bear our sins on the cross. Grant that our hearts may be so fixed with steadfast faith in Him that we fear not the power of sin, death, and the devil. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, 